everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So recently I had a conversation with my husband about the idea of what it is you want versus what you need and I thought I'd talk about it in today's video because he brought it up in relation to sort of an issue he was having with some clients and this was something that I saw could be applied virtually to anything and and especially within sort of the the natural health or, or people that are trying to achieve certain health goals or weight loss goals or things like that I I found this to be sort of a, a good way of looking at things and perhaps to help someone kind of get out of a rut they might be in or to actually start getting the results that they're trying to get so pretty much the conversation came up when my husband who is a landscaper he designs and builds gardens for people's homes and, people, and villas and hotels and once in a while he'll get a client that comes in and they already have a plan and and they want specific plans and they want it to be a certain way and look a certain way and and when he goes to the site to see it and to start working you know he realizes oh you know these plants that they want it, they're not going to really live or thrive in in the area that the the people want it you know either there's too much sun or not enough or not enough space or whatever it is there, there's some sort of issue and when he approaches his client saying we got to change things and we can't use these plants that you want they get a little upset and they're attached to those plants and in the back of his mind he's thinking to himself like what is it you want you know do you want the plants or do you want to have a healthy garden <laughs> and do you want plants that are eventually going to die or do you want something that's going to thrive and he he was talking about this and saying you know it's it's all about what it is you want versus what it is you need you know and and what he sees is that they need to have a beautiful garden and what they see is that they need to have what they want and when he was telling me about this i was thinking just about within the, my own industry that I work in, right, in, in natural health and in diet and weight loss and nutrition and things like that and, and how I've seen over the years, especially with coaching, is I've seen with people that they get attached to certain things done a certain way and specifically with diets and a lot of times I have people that come to me that are, let's say, trying to lose weight and they... 10 years ago did a special diet and they lost a bunch of weight and eventually it came back and ever since then they've been trying to redo the same diet over and over and over again and every time they they try and do it it gets more and more difficult to do and they tend to be gaining more and more weight and they're not getting the results that they want and they're not getting any anywhere near the results that they had once got but if you mention perhaps trying to do things differently there's a resistance because they're attached more so to the process or to that diet and what that diet represents as opposed to what it is they need and what it is they want, you know, the results. And it's interesting for me being on the outside to see it and I see it within my own life and <laughs> many things I've done in the past um, and even things that I deal with even presently, you know, where I get stuck in the things that I want as opposed to what it is I need. And if I focus more on the results I want to get, then I'm more open to different ways of getting that. You know, and an example for myself that I years ago when I was on a raw vegan diet, at first it worked great for me, but then over the years I started developing like deficiency and gaining weight and, and all sorts of issues. And I found myself becoming more and more attached to the diet. But what my objective was is to be healthy. And it was only until I realized that I was more attached to the actual diet than I was to being healthy then I started changing things up and then then it's like everything started to sort of fast track for me to actually start achieving my my goals and, and the results I wanted quite quickly you know but it was letting go of that attachment letting go of, of how I think that things need to be done you know sometimes we think that we we know how it should be done and that it should be done a certain way but sometimes it's not meant to be done that way sometimes we have to let go or sometimes we have to try things in other ways and be open to that you know but the more focused you are on what it is you're trying to achieve the results you you need and that you want as opposed to how you think you're supposed to get there I would say a lot of times the easier it is 
and sometimes you're quite surprised to see just how how great it is as well. You might actually get better results than you, what you expected. And so I'm bringing this up today for you to think about because I know that everyone watches these videos to be inspired and because everyone else is on their own health journey and trying to perhaps achieve their own goals or to lose weight or to get healthier or to reverse some sort of condition is to ask yourself like are you what are you attached to are you attached to how you think you should be doing things or are you trying to move towards what you really need and what you're aiming for and what you want you know and what what is standing in your way are you repeatedly trying to do the same thing over and over again trying to make it work and it's not are you in a rut are you falling into sort of a pattern that isn't changing you know and if you start seeing it for what it is and start moving the focus more towards what it is that you want to achieve and be open towards other ways of getting there you'd be quite amazed to see what happens so I'm just going to leave you with that. <laughs> think about it, you know, what it is you need as opposed to what it is you want or think that you want. <laughs> and on that note, and I just want to mention as well that the next seven day Whole Food Challenge, it starts December 15th. That's a Monday. It's in a little bit over a week. And it's seven days of being on 100% healthy, <laughs> real food diet. And it's a great program. If you want to get rid of the processed food, the junk food, the, the sugar, the, the, the bread, the, like all the processed stuff, the fast food, all of that. If you want to just jump into eating 100% real food diet for a week, it's a great way to jumpstart a healthy diet and something you can continue on doing forever. It's not a crash diet. It's an actual real food diet. It's very well-rounded. It's very well-balanced. And it's a way of getting people started so that they know how to continue to eat healthy. They have all the resources to do so and they, they know how to make healthy choices. So once you sign up, there's an ebook that comes with the program. It's got 75 recipes. It's got three sample menus. So there's a super simple sample menu, there's a regular one, and there's also one for vegetarians. So if you are on already a special diet, you can make adjustments to the Whole Food Challenge to suit your needs. And there's also food lists of everything you can eat and that you can eat. And the program is a group program. So it's a live program. It starts December 15th. And when the program starts and for the duration of the week, you have access to a private online forum. So you get to connect with everyone doing the seven day whole food challenge with you. I'm on the forum every day answering questions and offering additional support. And there's also seven videos. So there's a daily video for each day of the seven day whole food challenge. And each video is about 20 to 40 minutes long. There are very in depth videos explaining everything you need to know about eating healthy, healthy nutrition and what to do about cravings and what to do when you're socializing to stay on a healthy diet. This is good tips, especially for those that are about to get into sort of the holiday celebrations. And the videos are just go through everything so that you, by the end of the seven days, you're very well equipped, very well informed and educated as to how to continue to eat a super healthy diet, take care of yourself and achieve all your health goals. So if you want to sign up, go to my website at radiantcentral.com, click on seven day Whole Food challenge and sign up there. All right. Have a super fabulous day, everyone. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.